Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and I want to talk about my top 10 gaming experiences of 2022. Well, at least I can remember, you know, because I know that when I do these lists, later on someone will mention a game and I'll be like, oh, are you kidding me? I would definitely have talked about that on the list. That just happens, right? But these are 10 that I can remember, and I had a lot of great experiences playing games. So if, you know, I played a game with you and you're watching this and it didn't make this list, whatever. I have hundreds of experiences that were fantastic this year. I have very few bad gaming experiences, frankly. So these are just 10 that were memorable to me. So first of all, number 10, all by myself. So yeah, it's not really, um, this is my solo experience of playing ISS Vanguard. Now, ISS Vanguard made the list. I played a lot of games solo, like Frosthaven and stuff, but ISS Vanguard was really fun for me. Uh, for some reason, I got into the story. I was involved with uh, my different, you know, uh, different people flying it. It was just a really cool, fun solo adventure. I played it for multiple times. I played it over an entire weekend and then a little bit more beyond that. And it was just a really good time. It's the only solo thing on my list, and I felt almost bad putting it there because I'm like saying, playing by myself is better than playing with you. That's not the case. It just was a really cool experience. Number nine is the Shivers game that we played during the Winter Spectacular. Now this is close to not even being a board game. It's kind of like a mini RPG um, of sorts. And you have to go back, you can go watch this one. It's online uh, where we sat there and we played through these pop-up books and stuff. But that particular thing, it was so funny and so silly and just it got me almost in the mood to play more RPGs, which is why it's one of the stretch goals on our Kickstarter. I don't want to get super involved in role-playing games again, but every once in a while it's fun just to go through a story together, and that's what we did in The Shivers. Number eight is Dominion. This year, <laughs> I played so many expansions that came out for Dominion, and almost all the games of Dominion I played, I played a lot of different games of Dominion with a lot of people, but I played a ton of two-player games with Chris. Ye, and he's really good at Dominion, I'm really good at Dominion. We about split our games evenly. And there's just, if you play Dominion, when you play with someone who's really good at the game, like, like I'm not saying I'm really good at the game, but I really know the game. How's that? And someone else who really knows the game, you're just like da, 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 playing cards, talking about the combos. It was just a really enjoyable experience. Number seven is my father's work. So I went to a little convention called Golf Games and I played various games in there, but I played my father's work. And I played my father's work and I enjoyed, it's a three hour game. I enjoyed the experience so much that I played it two, three times. Like a three hour game. I almost never do that, but it was so interesting to see the stories progress. And I play with different people. I think each time I play with someone different and it just was, I got so caught up in the worker placement and but just the, the mad scientists and the things that were coming out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, number six is Wayfarers of the South Tigris. So at PAX Unplugged, we at night because Pax and Plug is very tiring and everything and the hotels in Philadelphia are immensely expensive. So we get like a little um, uh, bed and breakfast, not bed and breakfast, but Airbnb, sorry, and a little house for all the Dice Tower staff. And that's not something we do very often. We're here, we work together, but we don't often then go to, um, you know, uh, we don't go, we go home to our separate homes and everything. But here we went home together and we watched movies and it was kind of, and then we sat and played this game and it was just really fun. We were just all kind of relaxed and playing a really good game. I didn't even have to teach the game and I fell asleep a little bit during the game because I was super tired, but I woke back up and it was just a lot of fun. Um, I could have mentioned any game from that experience, but it was fun. The Wayfarers of South Tigers. Um, number five is Splendor Duet. So I played Splendor Duet with uh, one of my friends at the Re Dice Tower Retreat. Uh, and I, there's a lot. So if you go to conventions, you'll know that I'm an early gamer. And so I get to go and play games early in the morning with people. And for some reason, some of those games are the best games I play. But this was just, me and this friend, we played a whole bunch of two-player games because we were the only people there for a while. And Splendor Duet, he's not a huge Splendor guy. I'm a fine Splendor guy, but it was just back and forth. It was a really fun game. I just really remember that one point in time. Number four is Cosmic Encounter. So at Dice Tower East, I played a game of Cosmic Encounter. I don't always get to play Cosmic Encounter, but I had all these new things from the new um, expansion with me. I wanted to try them out. And I got a bunch of people, most who had never played Cosmic Encounter before, and it was fantastic. I played multiple games of Cosmic Encounter last year. Some of them were fine, but this was the best one that I played. Everyone was laughing and joking. It was just a very fun, hilarious game. 
Number three is Oath Sworn. So two different times I played Oath Sworn um, at night. Both of these were late at night for some reason or whatever. One was with Brian Drake who's on a channel and Rod and the other was with Camille and Chris at night. And I, I played it multiple times, but those two games in particular stood out because they were just, I don't know, the night, there's something for me about playing at night. The night is still, it's quiet here where we are in the Dice Tower studio. And we're playing this really immersive, fun game. And the two games were wildly different. But a lot of just interesting things happened in them. Oh man, Oathsworn is just such a really cool game. That's my number three. Number two is Massive Darkness, second edition. Now, I played a lot of good games of Massive Darkness this year. It's a game I like um, very much. I play with Roy and Mike, and that was fun. And I play with Rod and other people at the Dice Tower Retreat. But I played a game here at the 24-hour marathon. And I could have picked uh, lots of stuff because that 24-hour marathon was just a 30-hour marathon. was just a lot of fun. But man, that game, again, the still of the night, playing and fighting, it was just so much fun for me. And my number one is an 80-way tie, <laughs> sort of, between all the Ready, Set, Bet games I played this year. Uh, I played Ready, Set, Bet for the first time at Gen Con. I went to the AEG room. I walked through the room. And they were showing off different games, and they showed Ready, Set, Bet, and I looked at it, and they explained, oh, that sounds interesting, and I almost never play games or demos with publishers, because I like to learn from the rules, but as soon as they explained how the horses worked, I said, I need to see this in action. So I was just rolling dice and doing it, and they played it, and I was like, this is amazing. And that night, I went back and played it with the Dice Tower Gang, and then played it with some other people, and then played it with Dice Tower Gang. And then I took it to the World Series of Board Gaming and played it like 80 times there, and I took it to Dice Tower Retreat and played it all, the, all over there. And everywhere I've gone, I just keep playing this game, playing this game, and every game is hilariously fun and amazing. It's so fantastic. Every experience is just a joy. Probably the best one was at the World Series of Board Gaming with the head of the World Series of Board Gaming screaming at his horse at the top of his lungs to the point where he lost his voice. Um, it was it's just an amazing experience. Like I said, these are just 10. I had lots of great experiences at conventions. I have great experiences here in my gaming group. I had great experiences playing games with my family. Uh, but these are just 10 that were memorable to me. So that's it. I'm Tom Vassell. You've been watching my top 10 experiences of 2022. We'll see you next time.